Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. Today we're talking about levees. You know, we're talking about cities like Houston, St. Louis, you know, other cities across the Midwest, down towards the Mississippi. You know, the majority of the Mississippi has levees built on it. But what we're talking about today is, are those levees actually creating flooding? You know, what happens is, all the way back into the 1850s, even Charles Ellett Jr. admitted that levees can actually cause flooding downstream in other areas because of the redirection of water. So that's what we're talking about today. You know, levees are not all at the same level in all areas. You know, some communities have had the opportunity to build their levees up. So what happens is when you have levees on the same level, of course the river should rise at the same level. But when you got one side that has higher levees, it's gonna flood the other side a little bit more. So this is happening a lot across the Mississippi in smaller communities, you know, communities that don't have as many resources. So today we wanna to talk about maybe a possible option to fix some of this or some of the dangers of living in communities with levees. You know, in the United States, we don't have what's called setback levees, but in areas like Holland, they do. You see, in the US, levees are built right along the river. However, in areas like Holland, they're actually built off of the river. And one reason for this is to help develop wetland areas and preserve wetland areas because when these rivers flood, it does develop areas for certain animal life and things like that. But the problem with the levees, like New Orleans showed us back in 05 with Hurricane Katrina, is that levees can fail. And when they do fail, they can cause catastrophic events. You know, people take the false protection of living next to a levee thinking it's not going to impact them but those levees can fail. And that's why flood insurance rates are built so heavily on levee maintenance and dam maintenance. You know, for example, Toledo, Ohio recently had to go through a review where their dam and levee levels were not to the maintenance level that FEMA wanted. And because of this, they were gonna downgrade it until they could get these things fixed, you know, cracks. Just your normal routine things that may have not been taken care of. And because of that, it can put a community higher at risk. But you've, as I said, you've got these communities that are surrounded by these levees, have taken these false protections and they're building these houses right along these levees. Well, when these levees fail, it causes massive flooding. It's also causing massive flooding upstream when you're building all these levees. Because what you're doing is you're narrowing down a river. And what happens is it gets backlogged upstream, causing more flooding. So as we've seen this year on the Mississippi and the Missouri River, all this flooding could have actually been caused by majority of the levees along these rivers that have blocked this water or have redirected it to other communities massively flooding these communities so when it comes to levees and dams you've got to be careful not to have that false of security while they are a great option for protecting communities they can actually devastate other communities that may not be able to afford them or the redirection of water so if you've got questions about flood insurance, maybe you live near a levee, maybe you live near a dam, maybe you're in the Houston, Texas area, you're in the St. Louis area, you're in areas of Nebraska that depend on some of these levees, or all the way up in Minnesota, Des Moines, Iowa, you know, all these areas along the Mississippi River and the Missouri River that have been impacted by this in 2019, please reach out to us, floodinsuranceguru.com. Go to our YouTube and our Facebook channels, The Flood Insurance Guru, where we do our daily flood education videos. Remember, you can also give us a call, 205-451-4294. Remember, we have an educational background in flood mitigation, so we can help you understand flood risks like this one right here, understand your flood insurance options, and mitigating your property to help you minimize flood losses when things do happen with levees and dams, and helping you minimize your flood premiums. Thank you.